I can tell you that feminism is still extremely compelling. The first thing they read that they fall in love with is an article by Andrea Dworkin called Feminism and Agenda. It's like unbelievable. And this is like 30 odd years old and it is as relevant today as it was then. So I can tell you after teaching women for 20 odd years, if I go in and I teach liberal feminism, I get looked blank. Yeah, well, very interesting. I go in and teach radical feminism, bang, the room explodes. So this is our way in because it explains their life. I remember what happened to me the first time I read radical feminism. I remember thinking, I have been waiting for this my entire life and I didn't even know I was waiting for it, okay? It changed my life. So I would say it's weird as feminists, we have to keep the radical message alive because that is the only way we are going to attract young women. We are in a crazy, crazy pornographic culture and for that we need extreme measures and I can't think of anything better than radical feminism for that. <coughs> <Okay>. <laughs>